Hello friends, this is a warm welcome to my channel, Ziri's Updates. Today we shall see the full updates of Joda and Akbar final episode. Before I continue, I want you to please subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon, and like this video, thank you. Akbar declares to the ministers that Joda is worthy of this, as he delivers new coins with Joda's name and an official stamp bearing her name. Rukhaya interrupted, and everyone turned to look at her. She went on, it was just me who didn't want Joda to have all of this. However, I've come to realize that Joda deserves all of this. Fazol says, Joda has achieved so much. Tadamal says she's excellent at her job. And Birbal says Joda can forgive anybody. Rukhaya said, I'd want to offer her this mark of respect with my hands, if you don't mind. Akbar gives her the coin, and Rux present the coin, which has Joda's name engraved on it. Joda is pleased, as she folds her hand to thank Akbar. As everyone shouts her name, Rukhaya begs Joda to accept the money, saying, you deserve this respect. Joda extends her hand to Rukhaya and accepts the coins. Rukhaya said, I command you to give these money to everyone, as she chants Joda's name. Rukhaya comes to Joda's room late at night, and as if she may come in. Joda says, yes, I'm sorry I couldn't lift your penalty. Rukhaya replied, sometimes we don't comprehend a person's whole life. Nonetheless, you understood the same person in a split second. I knew you were a good person the moment you stepped into this palace. It enraged me, and I realized I couldn't compete with your level of kindness. That is why I kept disrespecting you. I'd want to apologize. Joda urged her to get up since she was sitting on her feet. Rukhaya continued, you made my punishment a challenge for me to avoid embarrassment, and it also opened the door for me to return to the palace. You have given Jalal a new life, you have transformed him from Jalal to Akbar, your love has transformed him, and your love has triumphed over my hate. I salute you. I will hope that your feelings for Jalal do not change. She embraces Joda. Akbar approaches Rukhaya as she is about to leave for Kabul and tells her that there is no penalty for showing hatred. Instead, punishment is used to influence a person's behavior. You're my friend, and I don't want you to lose. Joda has given you a challenge, and I want you to succeed. Rukhaya said, do you believe your Rukhaya can't do it? Akbar claims that the Rukhaya he knows always wins. Rukhaya grins and declares, I will soon prove that I am not less than Joda. I'll do it because it's my life. I can't live without you for a long time. Akbar embraces her and says, I'll wait for you. She sobs and says, I'm leaving now, and she walks away. In another scene, Joda was shown lying down on her bed. She was unable to sleep. Someone entered her room, and Joda believed it was Moti without seeing her. She asked Moti to massage her leg. Akbar began massaging her feet, and Joda said, I have now opened the way for Rukhaya to return here, everything is great. Joda turns and see Akbar, she jumps up and asks, why are you caressing my feet? I'm your wife. Akbar responds, but you also requested me to massage your feet. Joda replies, anyone can see us. Akbar says that no one can come here until I ask them to. Joda says, service me well, and massage my hand. She smirk. And Akbar begins massaging her hand. Seeing that she is taunting him, Joda then says, my head is hurting, rub it. She lays her head on his lap, while he pats her head. Everything will be all right in the end, Joda continued. Akbar says, yes, it was all because of your wisdom, and you have always shown me the path. Joda replies, no, it's all because of your confidence in me, to which Akbar responds, 
it happened because of our love, and they hugged each other. Their two started soul-to-soul -soul discussions. Akbar says, that night was beautiful. Yes, I recalled our journey, and I remember when I promised to behead you in front of Kalima, Jodha thinks. Akbar says, I was running behind you to see your face, and Jodha replies, remember that day when I had put a sword on your neck as I thought you are a soldier. Akbar asks, how could you murder me that day, knowing that you had to become my life partner, my queen? Jodha says, I never thought that the one I wanted to kill, would be the one I will be praying for. Your love changed me. I had to follow your wish. I bowed my head to Kalima, and then, your hatred changed into love for me, Akbar continued. Jodha replied, we didn't know that this love will change us entirely. Finally, there is a flashback of Jodha and Akbar, like how they confessed their love for each other, and how their passion increased over time. Jodha says, small things kept bringing us together, and Akbar replied, your sword fighting skill impressed me so much, I can't explain your greatness. I still remember how you fought with a Balmali to protect me. Jodha says, I had to protect you, as you are my life. Voice over says this was the story of Jalal and Jodha, the journey from hatred to love, from changing person to better. This love story is historical and will be remembered for years. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you.